After seeing that video clip, I truly understand the statement, kids say the darnest things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you all can guess how well that went over my family. <laughs> Until this day, my mother still had to let me live that one down. <laughs> While I can clearly see the fallacy in my final statement, I have no regrets making it. When I made that statement, I wasn't trying to insult my family. I wasn't being arrogant. But when I made that statement, I was experiencing something I had never experienced until that point. This thing that I was experiencing is called success. At the age of 13, the feeling of success was so new to me that I couldn't even explain it. But now, after six years in the Abbott program and many more successful experiences, at age 23, I'm here to better explain how Abbott has set me on a path for success. <laughs> In the video, you heard me mention that I stink at math, but in reality, I struggled with much more than math. While math has always been my biggest challenge academically, in elementary school, an even bigger challenge was social interaction. I was always that strange child who would sit in the back of the classroom sucking her thumb, watching all the other children play. My obstacle? a severe speech impediment. This impediment caused students to dislike me, teachers to give up on me, my mother to become frustrated, and my older sister to become my very own interpreter because she was the only one who could understand what I was saying. I suffered from this speech impediment for eight years before I was placed into speech therapy. With my speech impediment gone, I began to block them socially. And I thought, okay, I would, now that I have friends, I thought that I would begin to love school, and I would be student of the week, or that I would be that model student. Now in my mind, this all sounded great. However, my priorities were not aligned with my goals. I focused the majority of my attention on making my peers laugh, and not enough attention on being a great student. My only motivation for obtaining decent grades was fear. I was fearful that if I did poorly in school, I would have to suffer the consequences at home. I was fearful that I would be held back while all my friends moved forward. And most importantly, I was fearful of growing up and being a nobody. The Abbott program helped me to not only overcome my fears, but to transform that fear into a love. Like the old saying goes, you take one step forward and two steps backwards. Nothing could have been truer for me. Just as I was starting to adjust to middle school and I had overcome a speech impediment and had tons of friends, I would soon meet social, social issues again. Now these issues didn't arise from a speech impediment. They came as a result of transferring mid-year to a new school in neighborhood. To my teachers, I was that student, that new student who they had to play catch up with. And to my peers, I was the girl who thought she was smarter and funnier than everyone else. A month after attending my new school, I would encounter a group of five girls who would soon make the confident and funny Jocelyn disappear and the shy and quiet Jocelyn come back. See. This group of girls did not like the fact that I raised my hand to participate in class. They didn't like the fact that I turned my homework in on time. And this group of girls especially didn't like the fact that I put more effort into school than they did. This caused me to have some serious social issues with these girls. Now naturally, all girls, all students in general, want to be accepted. And I figured the best way I would become accepted was by becoming invisible. I stopped volunteering to participate. I stopped asking questions. I stopped talking. And most importantly, I stopped caring. In order to not fail math completely, I began to meet with a group of students before class and copy their homework. I had no confidence and no hope for a bright future. But I would soon come to find out 
there was light at the end of the tunnel. I was introduced to the AVID program at the end of my sixth grade year by my elective teacher, Renee Sheldon. After witnessing my organizational skills, lack of confidence, and poor work ethic, she believed I would be a great candidate for the program. <laughs> now I have to admit, when she told me that AVID is a program designed to help students get into college, I immediately rejected it. Although my grades were not the best, even I was smart enough to know college was not in my future. Nevertheless, it wasn't until she mentioned that the AVID class held parties once a month that I became interested in the program. So my seventh grade year, I enrolled into AVID, and my first trimester was everything I had expected it to be, a piece of cake. Little did I know, I received an A my first semester in AVID. Little did I know that A would lead to a future of straight A's and B's, all AP and honors classes, a scholarship to a four-year university, and eventually a college diploma. It wasn't until our first pizza party came around that I realized that I could no longer take this program for granted. Students were awarded pizza for everything from perfect attendance to earning a 3.5 GPA or higher. I witnessed my friends earning two and three slices of pizza while I was only awarded one. <laughs> for my perfect attendance. I started to recognize that AVID was more than a class that held parties every month, or a class that allowed me to finish my undone homework. I finally started to understand that AVID is a program that helps to create successful students. AVID helps make students' dreams of going to college into a reality. By the end of my seventh grade year, I have made a drastic improvement. I received a 3.5 GPA, and for the first time, I had proven I could succeed in school. With my newfound success, I continued on with the AVID program throughout high school. In high school, I was blessed to have a wonderful AVID teacher named Tracy Leota. Mrs. Leota quickly became my friend and my mother away from home. Although I had seen how AVID had helped me academically, I was still apprehensive about taking AP and honors classes. However, through Ms. Leota's patience and encouragement, I took my first honors class my freshman year. By the time my senior year approached, I was enrolled in six AP and honors classes. And I was obtaining a 4.2 grade point average. In 2005, I graduated from Monta Vista High School, ranking in the top 10% of my class. With the help of Mrs. Leota, I applied to five universities and got accepted into all but one. In the fall of 2005, I began classes at San Diego State University with a major in criminal justice. However, after a year in that program, I realized my heart was not into law. <laughs> and I decided to switch to something I had fallen in love with over the years, which was education. Upon hearing about a program that could help me get into college, I was in disbelief. Now, there is not a doubt in my mind that AVID fulfills its mission to close the achievement gaps by preparing all students for college readiness. I am proof of how AVID can transform a shy and unmotivated student to a responsible, dedicated, and successful student. I recently graduated cum laude from SDSU with a bachelor's degree in liberal studies. Next week marks the completion of my first semester in their teacher credential program. I hope to instill the values that AVID has taught me into my future classroom. AVID is unlike any program I have ever experienced. 
The one thing that I truly love about this program is that it doesn't focus on the impossible, but on the possible. Abbott looks past students' impediments and barriers and towards their futures. For 30 years, the Abbott program has helped to create strong leaders and successful students. My hope is that Abbott will continue to guide students and help them realize their potentials, just as it has done for me. I would like to thank the Abbott founder, Mrs. Mary Catherine Swanson, and to all the people who have helped make this program such a success. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.